It is Monday, and that means Chamber Talk here on 1570 KMCD, and we welcome Mindy McAdams in from the Fairfield Area Chamber of Commerce, and I always start my day asking Mindy how her weekend was, but today she shows up with her arm in a sling, and so I don't, I don't really want to ask. I just don't know how to take it easy. It's fine. And it's almost firewood season, so it's got to get healed up. Well, you notice I never come in and cast or anything, because I know <laughs> how to take it easy. I'm not good at it. So what, not what I do as. Other than that, how was your weekend? It was good. It well, was I mean, good. was it just typical yard work, uh, the things around the acreage? Uh, yeah. Yeah. We had to do some work at our farm this weekend. All right. All right. All right. And that was it? That was the extent of it? That's it. It was a mellow. I tried to take a mellow week and give the arm a little bit of break hey, before let me it ask, gets crazy again. Let me ask this question um, real quickly before we get into chamber events. Um, is the Are the watch year um, flea markets done now? Did you tell me they're mm -hmm. done? Okay. Yep. October 1st. The first weekend in October, you missed the last one. All right. Speaking of last ones, I do <laughs> want to remind you that uh, Wednesday is the final outdoor farmer's market on the square here in downtown Fairfield. And Saturday will be the final outdoors uh, farmer's market down in Howard Park. I don't like it. That means that W word is coming. Uh, pangs of <laughs> melancholy wash me because... It makes me sad. Yeah, I was down there Saturday. No more Saturday fresh veggies. Got beets and, and squash mm. and apples and I bought a loaf of bread. Not that, it, not that it's going away. I think they're going to have it over at Golden Magnolia. Yeah. That's where it's yes. going to transition mm -hmm. to. Absolutely. So we'll get more information on that. But yes. Just a reminder, uh, two more nights. Wednesday or Wednesday evening from, I think it's three, three, to, six. three to six. And then Saturday from eight to two. Down at our park with you. Get your, it while you can. Yeah, get it while you can. All right. I uh, want to remind you that you can sign up for the Monday news, Monday morning newsletter. Chamber you can chat, get it right. Chamber chatter. <laughs> uh, email, Good job. Email the chamber at chamber at fairfieldiowa.com. And uh, you can get on the mailing list there as well. Or you can always log on to the website and get a calendar of events, a business directory, and everything like that. I know you have a business after hours this week. Let's talk about that. Typically on Thursday, but I see it showing up on a Wednesday this yep. week. Yep. Um, so next year, you'll see a lot more of that. We're going to let our businesses pick the day of the week um, because Thursdays aren't really good for everybody. So if somebody wants to do it, you know, we do that with um, – Morrissey Law, his is usually on a Friday, follows wherever St. Patrick's Day right, is. Right, right. December's on a Friday because it's their, uh, it's the Carl, it's the Nelson Company's. Yeah, I was going to um, say Nelson Company. Christmas party yeah, for their staff right, too. Right, right. So we're going to do that next year. It'll be whenever people want to do it, we will, if our schedule allows it, we will do it. So right. yeah, it's at Agri-Industrial Plastics because October is Manufacturers Month. All right. Well, let's start right there. You have a guest today. Thanks. Good morning, Miss Lori. Good morning. All right. So it's Manufacturing Month. It is. And tell me about what you're doing to celebrate. Yeah, so we think it's pretty important to recognize the contributions of manufacturing, both, both at the national level. Uh, so it's kicked off with Manufacturing Day, which was the first week of the month. And then um, it continues into us opening our doors for the community. Um, in our case, Agri-Industrial Plastics is celebrating it's 45th year in business, which is a big milestone. Uh, Dick Smith founded the company in 1978, so we're looking forward to celebrating that. Um, in addition, we think it's just good practice to have people come in and see what we do and see how, you know, how products are made and all the great careers and technology that exists in our facility. And you have a wonderful facility. You've got a lot of... I'm always impressed every time I get to go in there with the Leadership Fairfield. I learn something new every single time. Uh, and we recently just had Dick Smith speak to us at the Manufacturer's Appreciation Luncheon, which I think all, all of the reviews are, that was fabulous. Can we have a couple more <laughs> folks who started businesses do that? So did you enjoy the luncheon? Yes, of course. Well, one, the luncheon was incredibly well attended, which <laughs> is always good to see. Um, so yeah, I thought it was, you know, it's interesting. We have so many different manufacturing companies in a small town um, and a lot of those stories are interconnected and people don't realize it uh, so it was great to hear from pete nelson and dick smith and you know i think we're all enthralled about what manufacturing looked like decades ago compared to you know what it looks like today and how all of us have to keep up with you know current technologies and current career uh development and expectations but 
it's always good to know the history and where where we come from, I guess. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's great to still have that wealth of knowledge in our community um, and manufacturing is the backbone. So you're hosting a business after hours to celebrate 45 years and manufacturing month on Wednesday. Correct. So Wednesday at 4.30, uh, we encourage anyone who, you know, wants to come out again, see what we do. Uh, we'll be giving tours. Uh, we'll have um, many of our um, our own staff available um, for conversations. And again, it's a great time to also let our students here who are in our K through 12 understand how many great careers exist in manufacturing. Um, so please bring your kids. Don't think they have to sit home. Uh, I don't think you can get kids in too young uh, to see and be excited about the robots, uh, about the big machines, about the products we make. So yeah, we encourage everyone to come out. Absolutely, and manufacturing isn't just, you know, manufacturing used to have the stigma of it's just a dirty job and it's absolutely not. You and you employ engineers and salespeople. So if you're looking for work, definitely come out, check you guys out on Wednesday. Um, and if you have not taken a tour of Agra, you have to do it. You just have to come and look. It's amazing how things happen in this community. Yeah, we appreciate that. And again, <laughs> uh, we, you know, COVID, we were always ones that opened our doors, had lots of tours. And of course, all, all of that got shut down with COVID. So we're really excited to get things open back up, have people come through and see what we do. Um, there's nothing like seeing it. And it is a very different environment than anyone who thinks that manufacturing is still dark and dirty and unsafe. Uh, very far from the truth. And these are some of the best paying, highest benefit jobs um, in the state. And so we're really proud of our you know, facility, what we do, what we make, our customers. Uh, so yeah, we, we encourage everyone to come see it for themselves. Absolutely. Uh, okay. And so you're going to have some cookies. I rem <laughs> if I remember right from Miss Amy. We are. Because cookies are very cookies motivational. Sell. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there will be cookies, Steve. There will be cookies. <laughs> um, so if, if somebody doesn't know what Agra does, what yeah. does Agra do? So we are a large part industrial blow molder. So all the parts that we make are plastic. Uh, they're hollow. <laughs> And we don't have any single use, like we don't, we're not into packaging. So typically when people think of blow molding, the large majority of the industry is water bottles and packaging for Tide detergent and all those types of things. We make large industrial par parts for people like John Deere, uh, Toro, Yamaha, Kubota. So we're heavily focused in lawn and garden uh, we specialize in the uh, manufacturing of EPA compliant fuel tank systems. So that's about 50% of what we do. Uh, but then we make everything from a baby pig feeder to the orange tile that you see as you drive around Iowa uh, to a traffic device cone or barrel on the side of the road. You know, that brings up a great point. Fairfield manufacturers really help one another out, which helped during the pandemic when other people were having supply chain problems. You guys looked internally and went, can you make this for me? And can you, I can make this for you. Yeah, absolutely. There's so many connections, as I mentioned before, uh, amongst uh, the manufacturing backbone. Uh, we, you know, have made parts for years for traffic devices. Uh, our, one of our biggest suppliers is H&H &H Mold and Tooling. Uh, they make the majority of our molds. So again, lots and lots of connections in Fairfield. Absolutely. Steve, are you coming to get a cookie? <laughs> yeah, just to get, <laughs> just only, only to get a cookie. Get a cookie and wander around with uh, it. Uh, <laughs> I'm like the control group. You know what I mean? It's, you're monitoring my brain, and every time someone says cookie, it just stimulates the computers. That's right. It's Cookie Monster. So again, just a reminder, that's on uh, Wednesday of this week. 4.30 to 6.30. 4.30 to 6.30. Come check it out. All right. Fantastic. A business after hours. By the way, again, if your business wants to schedule one for 2024, email the chamber, chamber at fairfieldiowa.com. Yep. They're filling up fast. Uh, one quick note to uh, pass along to you real quickly. Coming up this Friday evening, it's going to be a trunk or treat event out at ISU Extension and Outreach. And that's going to be taking place Friday evening, for, I think from 5.30 to 7.00. 
uh, out at um, the fairgrounds. So uh, load the kids up in their little ghost and go goblin costumes <laughs> and get them out there so they can trick or treat in a fun, safe environment. That is our spotlight program here on this Monday morning. Stay tuned. Markets just around the corner with the Brownfield Radio Network. We have CBS News at the top of the hour here on KMCD Classic 96.